Tonight at 10, a school bus driver facing charges accused of assaulting a middle schooler on his bus. Our son was abused and beaten on the bus by this driver that was supposed to keep him safe. KSHB 41's Megan Abundance sat down with the student's parents tonight. A Liberty school bus driver was fired and faces misdemeanor charges for assaulting a middle school student. The parents of that 13 year old wanted to speak with us about what happened. I answered the phone and he said, Mom, I just got assaulted by the bus driver. Nicole Dana and Brad Carroll expected their seventh grader Zachary to make it home from school safely. He choked me and punched me in the face multiple times. The school district said the confrontation happened while the bus was parked and it hadn't left yet. The students on the bus started recording the bus driver. We got their parents okay to show this. In the video, you hear every kid on that bus screaming, like in fear. They did say that this is hard to watch. Zachary's parents watched the surveillance video from inside the bus too. Zachary doesn't say anything to the guy, doesn't provoke him in any way. It's just, you know, I mean, the guy originally went back and started yelling at the kid behind Zachary and Zachary was sitting in a seat and smiling at him. And he said, you think that's effing funny? And lunged at his at his neck, grabs his, grabs his shirt. They said they saw Zachary be choked, thrown, and his head go down twice. Zachary's friend and an SRO were able to help him off the bus. The school said Scott Livingston, the driver, was told to wait at the school, but instead drove off. Liberty police found him. A mile south, a bus full of kids. Court documents show the students were calling 911 over and over again. He does not want to ride the bus. He has told us he will not get back on a bus. And that's sad. The school district said Livingston passed multiple background checks through various programs before being hired. I reached out to his attorney and did not hear back. From the newsroom, Megan Abundis, KSHB 41 News.